What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Broken Broke Dodge and today we're going to be painting the dash on the old Dodge, probably the door cards too and whatnot. We're going to be using this uh, duper color of vinyl fabric or whatever. It's for plastic too. I'm pretty sure. I hope. But we're going to use that. Uh, get this black and uh, put it back in the truck. So first off I got to clean it really good. So let's start doing that. Here we go, that's the uh, ashtray kind of thing that's in the truck. Probably gonna do two coats on everything. I wasn't gonna try to find all black pieces, but this is the cheaper way to do it. So, yeah, that's black. No, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I'll paint the dash real quick. Well, that's good enough for a guy like me. Not perfect, but what can you expect from uh, spray paint and interior pieces? I never have perfect luck with this. But I'm going to try to fix this up a little bit, and then we got to get these painted too. And I also got the uh, the thing that holds the heater core and the uh, blower motor, so we can start getting that dash back in. So we got a new heater core to go into that too, so let's get that in the garage also, and I'll clean up those door panels and get those painted. Fix up that door panel about the best I could. Still looks pretty bad, but uh, we're going to paint those sometime soon. Probably not going to be putting those on for a while because I need to get seals for the windows and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter if I paint them today or not. I'm actually working on getting this heater box, whatever you want to say, call it. Has the heater core, the blow motor in it. Had AC in it, but we aren't going to be using that. Uh, it doesn't get too hot where I live, and it probably needed a lot of work to get it working. But anyway, we're trying to get this heater core out. This is the old one. I think this ain't even the original one. It looks like someone's cut this out before to put that one in there. And the new one that I got is uh, shaped a little differently. So I'm going to try to see if it'll work. It's hard to do this with one hand. But we'll see if we can't get this one to work. If not, I'm going to be looking for a heater core. So let me let me set the camera down for a second and see what I can figure out. So that looks a lot better. That's the correct heater core now. Picked that up today from O'Reilly's. We're going to clean this box up, throw that in there, and then throw that into the truck. It's going to be kind of cool. That whole piece is going to be uh, gone, like that hole in the truck gonna look like something's actually uh getting done uh i'm really happy we got the seat and stuff in there uh that's for a different video you guys will see that sometime soon if not uh before this one but anyway after i get that done we can throw the dash in and then uh we should have a few other things to put on i might try to put the uh, doors on in this video too so stay tuned get ready to actually set the dash in now uh this is all set up and good to go I even went as far as spraying a little black paint onto those bolts so it looks better. But yeah, so far I'm liking that. Uh, pretty sure these lines can just get clipped, pushed through, whatever. But yeah, we're going to set the dash in there. Hopefully we can get that bolted up and just start uh, cleaning everything uh, under it up. There we go. That was kind of a pain by myself, but that's looking pretty good. Now I just got to get the little Easter self tappers that go up there and start putting those in. I actually kept them, so uh, I think it's one of these dash bolts. Well, I'll throw all these in up there, and then uh, we'll start. I'll start. Uh, we'll start. Whatever you want to say, organizing all the wires and stuff, and uh, going from there. We got a new speedometer cable to put in here too, which we gotta do before putting the cluster in. But yeah, coming along nice. Uh, hopefully, we can get these doors on soon too. So guys, I'm having a rough time. I had a rough time yesterday trying to get this dash in. One day we're gonna try to get the truck rewired. As you guys can see, the fuse box is sitting there. I'm gonna try to put it up there with some 3M tape or something for now. But this is how it's looking. It's looking actually really good with that dash in there. Uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. Well, we're gonna get the doors on. My uh, my mom's and stuff's gonna be helping me. So she doesn't wanna be on camera because she says she's dirty and gray, needs to dye her hair. She's about 60 years old now, but she's still out here pumping on some doors. No, I'm just kidding. She, she's young. But anyway, we're going to uh, 
We're gonna get these on and I'll let you guys see after we're done since she doesn't want to be on camera. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like it as much as I'm going to. So these are all dried up now. Uh, I got about one and a quarter cans, hopefully we can get everything painted. Devices in the truck. So that stuff's pretty much practically dry already. I'm gonna let it dry for another half hour, 45 minutes. I'm gonna get that glove box put in, that little piece, that little tiny piece, and the visors put in. We gotta wait on the door panels though. As I keep saying, we need the seals and stuff first. But anyway, yeah, that's looking uh, mighty sharp to me. Uh, and like it looks a little messed up right now, but after you let it cure for a good bit of time, I've noticed it comes back to uh, normal, or normal as it can be. Like you just wipe some stuff on it and it looks 10 times better. But yeah, I'm pumped with that. Let's let that dry and then we'll start throwing those uh, visors and stuff in. What's going on? We got Travis out here. You want to say hello? Hello. What do you think about the truck? Pretty nice. So we got the glove box in already. This has always been pretty finicky to open and close, but it's in there. It works. It's always been like this. We're gonna have to get a new latch for it. But it works for now. Just gotta slam it. Anyway, let's do the finishing touches to the glove box. Try to snap this thing in there without breaking it. There we go. That looks good like that, don't it, Chris? Yeah. Now we got sun visors. I think this is the right one for this side. I think this one goes over here. Not too positive. After I stop looking like an idiot trying to mess with it and figure it out. I don't know if this one goes in here or not, Travis. Mm -hmm. Might be the wrong one. Try this one. Oh, this is the right one. Okay, we had the wrong one. All right, we got some screws down here. Get one of those. Get the screwdriver ready. Put this into place. Start screwing it in, right, Travis? Yeah. You ready to hear this run one day? Yeah. Hopefully we can hear it run like New Year or something. Give it a long time wine, but still gotta get that block back from the machine shop. Still gotta order heads for that. All that good stuff. So we got a lot of work to do still. I wanna buy a rough country lift for it. So we can swap out this old suspension that's worn out. The leaf springs and everything. Uh, just a four inch one. I'm pretty sure this is four inches what's on it with the blocks and stuff. So Let's keep it roughly this Travis wants me to change the rims up, don't you? Yeah He don't like the rims that's on it and I kind of agree with him I like them when it looked all uh, when it had that old ratty look Like when it was old blue toes. Yeah, I think the rims look good on it then. 
Yeah. Well, you saying we need new ones now, huh? Yeah. Is that all you know how to say yet? Yeah? No. <laughs> He's over there like, yeah. Hurry up and get this freaking visor on. All right. I'm going to tighten up. I also want to get, I think if anyone see my shorts, I want to get a visor to go over the roof too. One day with the orange lights in it, the uh, Michael lights. I think that looks sick. Do you know what I'm talking about, Travis? Mm, no. I'll have to show you. I think it'll look good with that. That's all I am. Works. Like it's never came out. Yeah, the spray paint jobs ain't the best, but I don't think it looks bad to you. Mm, no. Now we need to get a radio in it for final touches after it's running. But yeah, let me take this from you. I'll talk to them a little bit. I'm just gonna throw that other visor in. We already got that little piece in. So the dash is pretty much complete other than the uh, AC heat controls, uh, the radio, which that'll all come final touches, uh, but yeah. I'll throw that other visor in. That's going to be the end of this video. Uh, come back to see the door panels, the seals, and all that stuff get put on. Uh, and then uh, we also got to get that bed done. So we'll probably do that and then pull that bed out and start working on that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you made it this far and you uh, haven't subscribed yet. You imagine well. Come back for more videos. See you guys for the next one.